control them. If you or someone you know needs help, call 1-800-RESPECT. Eloise LaGrosse, Prime 7 News. An initiative to tackle isolation and loneliness is blooming on the mid-north coast. Elderly residents with help from a few green thumbs now have more reason to get outdoors and spend time with their neighbours. An outdoor oasis created for some of the region's most vulnerable. 18 elderly residents are having their outdoor living spaces upgrade with the help of Bunnings and community housing. By getting people out in the garden is actually good for their mental health. Uh, it's helping with the isolation and also um, getting a bit of fresh air. Ted Lynch received citrus trees on wheels. Little maintenance but something to take care of and brighten up the space outdoors. I think it's bloody beautiful. I really do. Yeah, Christmas come again. Ross Matthews is an avid gardener, growing fruit and chilies to boast about. Now, with a little help, he has even more space to expand his backyard produce. Because I've got spinal problems, I can't lift those bags. So the girls are, are planting seeds, are planting plants today for me, and all this sort of stuff. They're putting a, a gateway in the side there, so it's brilliant. I'm a happy little duck. Community housing say the gardens also encourage residents to get together with a common interest they can share. What we've seen with some of these guys is they've just started doing these massive gardens, producing lots of vegetables and then sharing it with all the other residents. So we're getting some healthy eating and lifestyle things happening as well. Samantha Crow, Prime 7 News. Still ahead on Prime 7 News, some of the country's best squash players head for the Coffs Coast. And Manning Valley racer Cody Garland gets back on